No, we've hardly begun to look. You uh, have to bear in mind the enormous number of possible worlds going around other stars in the Milky Way galaxy, the enormous number of frequencies or channel stations that you must listen to, the variability of the band pass, how wide the frequency range of a given station is. And if you bear all that in mind, you will realize that the few anecdotal searches that have gone on up to now, a few of them in Canada, by the way, uh, are barely scratching the surface of the problem. It would be astounding if we had succeeded by now. We have not. Microbes will not send us radio messages, so we are not looking for microbes. Uh, whether any intelligent beings evolved on planets of other stars have hands to shake is very much an open question. We have no way to know what intelligent beings, advanced civilizations on planets of other stars would be like. That's the, one of the main reasons we're looking. you are sending out our ways. That is, commercial television, state-supported television, is the principal source, along with military radar, of human beings advertising that they're here, and also where they are. What we're talking about in the radio astronomical community is the opposite. We listen for possible radio signals sent our way on purpose by advanced civilizations, if there are any, on planets of other stars. And all we're doing is listening. 